Hey horse lovers, so you want to know what it's like to run a horse farm and experience a day in the life at Free Spirit Equestrian with me? That's exactly what we're going to do. Every day is a little bit different at the farm, but today I'm going to start off with dragging the arena, preparing the stalls for the horses, feeding them, and then we're going to be teaching lessons today. So it's really busy. We have a lot of things going on. I'm going to try to go for a ride later, and I'm just going to take you along with me and show you the ins and outs of horse care, horsemanship, and part of my equestrian business too. The students are going to be arriving in about an hour, so we need to get going. Let's start. First, I need some coffee. And also, just really quick, I want to bring this up, and there's a reason. I've had a few comments that have said, you have such light skin, you shouldn't wear such bright lipstick, you look like a clown, so on and so forth. And honestly, I don't care. But I'm 31 years old, and I've been wearing it for years, and I absolutely love it. Go bold or go home. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I know there's a lot of women and girls out there, and a lot of times we receive criticism about how we look. However, if it's not affecting or hurting anybody else, stay true to yourself and don't change for anybody, okay? Be you and be proud, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, and I'm going to keep on wearing my bright lipstick. All right, horse lovers, we have a few thank yous to do. Thank you so much, JC, for this massage gun. The horses are gonna appreciate this so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Portia, for these braided reins. I absolutely love them. Thank you, Denise, for this daily gold gut supplement. We love this and the horses do so well on it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anne, for Belle's brand new girth. I'm really excited to try it on her when we get to that point. Thank you. And also thank you, Denise, for this hot pink halter for Belle. I cannot wait to try it on her as well. If you want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, we do not take donations, but you can buy us something off our Amazon wish list. Link in the description and we will do a shout out. Thank you so much, horse lovers. Now we're going to drag the indoor arena. So last night after lessons, I dragged it and then we treated it with what's called Magflix, which is essentially magnesium chloride. Now this helps with dust control and prevention. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. I'm not being sponsored by them or anything. I love this product and I just want to tell you more about it because it's worked for me. So you can see the Magflix are spread out. This one's like a chunk. <laughs> um, it kind of looks like you know, salt, uh, but it's magnesium chloride. It's not just salt. And essentially we spread them with a seed spreader around the arena and then you let them sit overnight and then you drag them. So that's what I'm going to do with the four wheeler. Okay, now we're gonna drag the arena and get all of these mag flakes worked into the sand. So for sand, I use 2NS sand. That's the best sand for arena footing and it's been really great for me over the past five years. In order to get the mag flakes to work appropriately, the best thing you can do is drag the arena. So I'm gonna drag it for a little while this morning. I'll drag it at the end of the day and I'll drag it the next couple days as well to really work that into the sand. The best part about mag flakes is it keeps my arena dust free. You can see a little bit of dust right now, but that's because we are putting them down because we needed them. But essentially you do not have to water your arena and it's actually recommended not to. So it's a great solution. I love my mag flakes. All right, so normally I spend a little bit more time, but lessons are gonna start. So I'll drag it later today as well, but there you go. All right, Kyle, tell them what the mag flakes do. You're better at explaining it. So it basically melts and it absorbs into the sand and then it keeps it wet and it keeps it from getting dusty when you ride. It bonds to the dirt and it makes it look wet. Yeah, exactly. So you don't, it's almost like watering, but it stays wet. Yep, so we're gonna drag this right now. Um, and hopefully that'll help with dust. And honestly, you just have to go through a few bags every six months with this size arena, which is a 50 by 130. Not bad. Poor Miss Bagheera has a bad abscess. I've been treating it, soaking it, wrapping it. I know, baby, so she's on stall rest right now. First, I'm gonna, <laughs> I know, honey, I'm so sorry. First, I'm gonna switch her out, put her in a clean stall, and then I'll clean her stall later. Um, but yeah, let's get you out and put you in a fresh stall. I'm sorry, baby. I know you just want out. You want your grain. I'm getting it. Okay, I got her stall made up. She's got her hay, salt lick, bedding. Now I go light on the bedding because otherwise it's not as sanitary. And then fresh water, of course. Abscesses suck, but this is part of having horses. So a lot of times abscesses look really bad. And again, that's why you treat them. And then it just takes, sometimes it takes a couple weeks or more for them to really fully blow out. And that's why I soaked her. I had her wrapped for 48 hours. I just took the wrap off yesterday. 
and she is getting better even though it looks really bad. And then if it wasn't to improve more in the next week, then I would be having my vet come out. So obviously I always text and message and I'm in contact with my vet. She thinks abscess too, but if for some reason it's not improving, then of course we would then um, go into more diagnostics. But this is how abscesses present themselves sometimes. And I've had this happen, um, you know, with other horses because that's just part of it. It's a common thing. But yeah, hopefully she'll be good to go soon. Sweet baby. But yeah, she's been in the stall for a few days, just obviously because she's lame. Okay, I'm running behind on time, so I need to prep the horse's stalls really quick. Um, essentially, what I'm going to do is put hay and water in the stalls. I'm going to feed everybody. The horses that are doing lessons today, they're going to come in the stalls and eat, and the ones that aren't will just eat outside today. So usually, I will rotate that um, in between lessons and my training schedule with them. So yeah, let me get to work on that, and then I'll show you everybody once they're in. Just a quick look at the feeding station here. So I feed pretty much everybody Essential K. Bagheera gets this senior feed because it has more fiber and fat. And essentially the Essential K, here's a bag. Um, it's low starch, low sugar, and it has a lot of vitamins and minerals. My horses are primarily on an all forage based diet, so minimal grain. And then they get salt every single day. Now, horses lose up to 30% more of their sodium intake that's required for them. So in order to replenish it, I feed them salt every day and this helps to prevent colic as well. Everybody in the winter goes on this gut supplement just to help because, you know, winter just kind of sucks, <laughs> especially when we get mud. And then I do feed some of them this cocoa soya if they need more of a fat supplement as well. And then they always get water soaked in there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, I got all of the stalls prepped. Now we're bringing in the horses so they can eat and drink and then just kind of relax a little bit before lessons start. The horses that are getting a training session or doing lessons will have fresh hay, water, treats, and a salt lick in their stall to enjoy. The horses that will be doing lessons today are Mr. Arlo. We have Jiminy Cricket. He's so cute. I love him so much. And then Mr. Olaf, my POA pony. And then we have Mr. Jafar that will be participating today as well. And Gaston, he's in the stall on the other side though. So yeah, that's who's going to be doing lessons today. Lessons always start off with grooming and tacking up the horse. We'll also do some body work and massage techniques. I think it's really important to teach students horsemanship and horse husbandry and not just riding. We also do a lot of groundwork in the program as well, but we always start with grooming and tacking. I also have Mr. Buzz Lightyear doing some tie training in the back to teach him some patience and get him used to the other horses in the arena. Also, a little fun fact, these twists that you see in the main are called fairy knots. So essentially, the legend has it that fairies at night would come and look for the horses that were the kindest and the best to ride. And they would twist their mane to make knots and stirrups so that they could ride the horses all throughout the night. So only good horses will have fairy knots in their mane. Isn't that fun? Just kiss a little bit, sitting back. Nice job. Okay, try neck reining. And you wanna sit back a little bit more. Nice job, kiss, kiss. Very good, getting those corners inside leg in the corners there. Nice job. Currently, I have around 40 students in my program and we teach lessons three days a week. We do a variety of different disciplines. We do Western, English, jumping. We'll do patterns, trail rides. We go to local shows. We go on camping trips. I'm all about making riders well-rounded and also teaching them horsemanship and training methods as well. So today was a little bit more chill. We did a little bit of Western, some cone work, transitions. All the horses only do lessons, again, two or three days a week. They get several days off. And then of course, I'm schooling and training and riding them as well. And typically on lesson days, the horses will do one to three lessons total. So it usually amounts to about an hour or two of riding time. And again, they get their days off and then I'm schooling them as well. Plus we have groundwork lessons too. I believe in keeping horses active, but also giving them breaks. Here you see one of my students cantering for the second time ever. I think she's doing fantastic. In between lessons, the horses get hay and water. They also have hay bags while they're being groomed and tacked up. 
so they get a chance to eat and drink and take a break. You saw Jafar there and then Mr. Gaston. Gaston gets pretty sweaty because it gets really warm during the day, almost up to 50, but it's really cold at night, so they still have their winter coats. I also will put coolers on them at the end of the day to help them cool off and relax before turning them back out to be with all of their friends. We teach all different levels of riders and I really enjoy the fact that we have a variety of breeds so that everybody can learn to ride different horses, which I think makes you a stronger rider in the end. I really enjoy having a lesson program and also training horses as well. It's a really nice balance. Yeah, so it's been hours since I've been out here this morning, just taking care of the horses and teaching. And I'm just happy I get a little bit of time to myself now to ride and train. Okay, since I'm going to go in and change, let's actually go hang out with Belle for a little bit. And then I think what I'm going to end up doing is hang out with her, go in, switch into my riding clothes, go for a ride on Prince Charming, work with the horses, and then I'll finish up and do barn chores, like finish sweeping here when I'm done. But for now, everything's taken care of. Troughs are filled, horses are fed, everyone's happy. So let's go see Miss Belle of the Ball. Ooh, I'm going to get her some horse treats too. Oh, let's see if she likes treats. Okay, so we're going to try these, which you guys got me, and also the peppermint nuggets, too. Let's see what she thinks. Hey, Belle. Hi. How are you? Are you happy? You're so gorgeous, honey. Hi. Hi. What? You got lots of hay. Good girl? You good girl? So oh, sweet. You're so pretty. I got a treat for you. Let's see if you eat it. Okay. You don't know about treats? You'll like them, I promise. Look. It's okay. It's okay. Well, this one. Good girl. See, it's yummy. It's yummy. What do you think of that? You're shedding, girl. That means spring's coming. Good girl. Hi, honey. Want another one? Another treat for you? <laughs> Good girl. I gotta get those auction stickers off of her, but I'm gonna wait until I have her tied. I don't, you know, want to freak her out. Good girl. Was that yummy? Yeah. Can't believe you haven't really had a treat. Saying hi. She'll figure it out. I think once she goes in with the other horses, especially. Right now I feel bad, but she has to be over here. Quarantine won't be long, much longer. We'll bust you out of here. Look what I ended up getting off. The auction stickers. And I'm taking out her braids. So we're just having a really nice moment, just hanging out and taking her braids out. She's standing so perfectly still. She's checking in with me. So I'm gonna to continue to take them out and I'll show you when they're done. She's being so sweet. I got most of Belle's braids out. She stood so nicely and calm. It was honestly just such a bonding moment because she had quite a few braids in. Um, I'm gonna leave the top three braids because she kind of wanted to walk away and I'm gonna respect that. But I think she's just like, I wanna eat hay. And her taking the treats was so precious. Like you love them, didn't you? <laughs> you're such a sweet girl oh my gosh I'm so excited to start working with her but I do think it's going to take time for her to settle in this is a completely different environment than what she's used to and she came from the Amish obviously it's going to be just totally different um with riding and then as people were saying like I'm talking into a phone I'm a completely different type of person but I think she'll be really happy when she figures out that she's very loved Yes, you know you're loved. And I think she knows that 
we're good people and safe, but I think we also need to earn that with her a little bit, which is why, you know, I started taking out the braids and then I'm going to leave <laughs> the other three braids in. I almost kind of see taking out the braids as like a trusting process and we got this far and now that's how far we got today and I'm just going to leave it there and then I'll take the rest out when she feels comfortable and she was <laughs> I think she's definitely starting to relax more. <laughs> you are funny. I love you. She's so special. Like I'm going to I'm just... I just know when I start riding her, when it gets to that point, I'm just going to feel so proud and magnificent because she's just such a gorgeous girl. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to leave those braids. Maybe I'll see in a second if she'll let me tend to them. Um, but if not, then I'll get them next time. Okay, I got all the braids out. Look at her. She's so happy and chill. And honestly, just like when I was undoing her braids and just right now, like when I was finishing those last three, I'm gonna leave her four lock one and I'll, I will get that one like when she's out of quarantine. She just like, I felt like she just is trusting me more and she's so at peace. Like, look at her, she's so cute. Can I touch your face? Oh, sweet girl. And I just was talking to her. I was just telling her, you know, how happy we are that she's here. I told her that I'm sorry that you had to leave your previous home. And I know that that probably feels like a little bit of abandonment. Um, not that that's what they were doing because I sell horses too, but just from her perspective. And I was just letting her know that it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be nervous and that I'm here for her and that I want to give her support and that I'm going to be her friend and we're a team. So when I was doing that, she just was like listening, turning her head towards me, like in a sweet way and like, look at her. Oh my god, I just love you. Can I clean this eye? Sorry, that was bothering me. Yeah, got the braids out, yay! So that's my mini bell update. Um, I gotta get my butt inside, take a shower, change, and then let's ride and train. See what I can get through. I'm pretty tired, but I still wanna go for a ride. All right, horse lovers, I went in, took a shower, ate some food, took a break, and then I groomed and tacked up Mr. Prince Charming. We're gonna go in the outdoor arena. It looks okay to ride in. <laughs> You're so funny. And we're gonna do a little bit of groundwork to warm up, and then we're gonna ride. So he's had about a week and a half off because he threw a shoe, and then I was out of town <laughs> going to the auctions and all of that. So yeah, that's why we're just gonna do a little bit of groundwork, warm up, and just have like a fun ride. Let's go. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is my Appaloosa Gelding Prince Charming. I bought him in May last year and he went through a rehabilitation process. So he still has arthritis. Obviously that's never going to go away. And he's had some time off, like I said, because he threw a shoe and then I was out of town and then the weather's been crazy. So we're just going to warm up with some groundwork and see how he does today. So some days are better than others. He's a little bit stiff today, but the more movement, the better. I just got on Mr. Prince Charming, and of course, we're gonna warm up first. So his injury was in his hind, and then he has some arthritis in the front. So we warm up with some ground pulls to get some lift and a little bit of impulsion, and that's gonna help him loosen up. Now, when it's a cold, windy day, and he's had some time off, he's a little bit stiffer. He does really well with consistency, which I have been consistent, but of course, things come up, and then he lost a shoe because it's been so muddy, so he had to have a little bit of time off till the farrier could come out to put it back on. So today, he's doing really good. He's super sweet and kind he's very calm but i do notice that he's a little bit stiff so we're just going to have a little bit of a longer warm up and i'm just going to show you a couple clips a little bit of trotting and we're going to do a little bit of canter work as well but we're going to keep it light today and that was pretty much it i just wanted to show you some snapshots of him give you an update i do plan on doing some injections i think that's going to help him i did try the adequan injections and i didn't really like them so i think i'm going to go with an actual injection in his front right and i think that will definitely help him he's still doing really well and like i said some days he moves perfectly other days a little more stiff and this is just how it is with arthritic horses unfortunately some days are better than others but we are working very closely with my vet and he is okay to be ridden she said actually the more movement is better but just keeping an eye on it now I'm gonna end the day finishing up some barn chores, sweeping the aisle, and just making sure that everything is all set for the evening. And then I'll be able to go and relax for a little while. 
the broom handle just broke off my broom. Thankfully, I got a new broom from Lisa off the Amazon wish list, but now I have to use this little one for now. <laughs> it always happens like that, especially at the end of the day. All right, horse lovers, I really hope that you enjoyed spending the day with me. It's been long, about, I'd say, 10 hours. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian, and I'll see you next time, horse lovers. Bye!